everyone, welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and I'm going over the golden gap of the month, which was NVIDIA. I'll talk about the chart in a minute, but these were all trades called in the Gap Options Newsletter, which is an annual subscription. And I wanted to show you the win ratio for all of the NVIDIA trades was 100%. Every trade that I called in this worked in the last month and average return on investment was 196%, which is outstanding. Now, when I say beginner trader, I'm meaning an average risk of $1,000 risk per trade. Some were slightly less and some were a little bit more, but they were all in alignment. And if you did them all, you could have made $17,680 with a $1,000 risk, which is again, outstanding. But it was the golden gap of the month and we're gonna get these in earnings season. I'm very excited uh, about the month of July. When earnings season begins, we get very busy and that'll be in about one week. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you have any questions or call me at 929-3200-GAP. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So if you'd like to sign up for the newsletter subscription, the annual subscription price is $69.99 a year. There's no prerequisites. You don't have to do any classes prior to signing up for the letter. There's no trials either, uh, but it is also all an annual subscription. You get a lot of trades in that time. And it's good for people to sign up for the year. And many people end up doing the bigger class, the Golden Gap course, after they're on the newsletter for a few months. Uh, the newsletters are emailed to you, and they're emailed to you in live time. If you have questions, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. So here we are, halfway through 2021, and you know I think people in general are starting to be a lot more positive. I know they are in New York City, even though things are not anywhere back to normal. Um, I think people in general are experiencing some what a relief that the country is open again. And, and uh, again, a lot of people are vaccinated, which makes them feel better about going around and doing things. So having a positive attitude, an optimistic attitude, not just in trading, but in life, really, really helps you a lot. It definitely does. So we're gonna look on the bright side of things, um, and we're gonna know that the rest of 2021 is gonna be amazing. And we're going to get a lot more golden gaps like this Navinia, and we're going to play them through and play and play and play them, which is exactly what we did uh, with this chart, which I'll show you in a minute. Anyways, if you want to trade for a career, you can trade part time or full time. It is 100% up to you. Some people on the options newsletter are only doing options and they have full time jobs um, and they're not sitting at their desk all day and they're managing the trade. So it's possible. You don't have to sit at your desk all day to do options. Some people are doing it because they just want extra money and they like their job. Some people are doing it full time and also day trading with me full time. So it's really totally up to you what you want to do. But for me, when I'm making the options picks, when I'm making the trades, I am following the momentum, the momentum, the momentum, the momentum. That's what I need. That's what I want. When I get the momentum in something, or I see that the momentum is gonna come in and travel on through, whether it's up or down, and in the case of an option, if it's up, you're doing a call, if it's dropping, then you're doing a putt, um, that is how we're making money, okay? It's, it's basically all momentum driven in my trading. Now, there were, there were actually 10 trades called. One that the beginner couldn't do because of the cost, which I'm gonna show you here. If you're an advanced trader risk, you could have done it but there were overall 10 trades. So one that the beginner couldn't do, zero losers and nine winners, okay? Because the beginner trader risk of 1,000 a trade could only do nine trades, follow me? Win ratio that was 100%. So 196% average return on investment, beginner trader total, 17,680, okay? That is, again, outstanding. To be able to earn $17,680 in one stock in one month with a $1,000 risk is amazing, and these, these were reasonable exits too, because a lot of these trades actually continued. So maybe even in the last day, which I don't suggest anyone holding, but it can happen. Anyways, NVIDIA was the golden gap of the month. Here's the chart. I mean, it started at the end of May. It traveled all the way up and continued into the end of June. And here we are, uh, last day in here was July 2nd, but what a move. Um, it flew, got over every number that I had called, got over the first, uh, beginning point, which was 650, then 700, then 720, then 725, then 750, then 800. I mean, it just kept going. And, you know, I'm not saying you just trade something over and over again forever. We really got this move. I mean, I had the timing perfect, everything. I'm not in anything in this right now because I just don't think the timing is set up right now 
for another leg move in this. And I don't want to get caught where we lose it when we've had such a good run um, because things can't go straight up forever. Just like things can't go straight down forever, you know? So in, in options, it's just, it's not just about the, the direction, which it obviously is in every trade to take, no matter if it's an option or a day trade or a swing trade, but it also has to do a lot with timing, timing with the options. And I time these things perfectly. And in fact, we were in them early. So Navinia, 6.30 calls. I called on the 27th. This is the first trade we did. It was in the pre-market. Let me go back in here. This was over here on earnings, right here. So boom, ran up, boom. So if you were a beginner trader, you could have done one contract and risked $800. Again, that's less than 1,000, but if you took two, it would have been too much. So you gotta keep it as close to that number as you can. 175% return on investment, $1,400 profit with an $800 risk. That is a good trade, people. Fabulous trade, okay? Then I called the 650s on Friday, the following day. This is the day it ran straight up, okay? $6, this was a little bit more. You could have got two, risk 1,200, close enough, sold 11, profit $1,000. 83% return on investment, great trade. And again, this was the 27th into the 28th and then the 28th. Beautiful move, okay? And again, this kept going in the following week, but I think when you're up, between 50% and 100% on the day, you've got to start watching to take profits. Not that you kill it at 100% if it's still going, but you know what I mean. Then the following week, I called the 670s. Another call. $10 was for one, so risk is 1,000, sold at 38, huge trade, 2,800 profit, risking $1,000. 280% return on investment. That is, again, a good trade. Let me go back and show you this one. This was on 6-2. here. Poof. Ran up. I mean, this, this chart is just insane. Kind of knew it at the beginning and then it just kept getting more insane. Uh, then I called later in the day the 665s. Uh, this was the day I called a bunch of them, different strikes, and this cost $13. One was 1300 That's okay. That's okay. 42 Sold $2,900 profit with a $1,300 risk. That's a 223% return on investment. And that's it, a great trade. I mean, this just kept going. Then the 675s, I also called. One uh, contract cost 10, $1,000 risk, sold at 35, profit 2,500, return on investment 250%. Nice, solid trade. Again, this is all that move when it was running up, okay? And you know, you just, you have to capitalize it. I always say, get the good ones. Make the most of the good ones. Then I call the 700 strikes. This is the fourth trade on the second, all right? $4, it was a lot cheaper. Two cost 800, sold at 18, profit 2,800. This was very profitable life, far away from the strike. Uh, to be able to predict that this would go there on that day was an amazing call by me. 350% return on investment. I mean, and then it moved. And then it moved, and it moved quick, and it moved big. Again, this is what I'm talking about, about momentum. And I called the 720s. This worked, too. 290. That was so cheap. It was a great read to see it would go there, though. Three contracts cost 870, sold at 950, profit $1,980, return on investment 228%. Actually, let me go back and look at that. Saw what I was going to do right there on that day. That was just a nice move. Okay, and then I called the 705s on a different day, on Friday the 11th. All right, out for the following week. One cost $12, risk was $1,200, sold at $20, profit $800. Return on investment, 67%. That's a good trade. Great trade. And I called the 720s. Uh, one contract was $1,200, sold at $37, profit $1,500, 208% return investment. Again, see how you just continue to play it. Then I call the 770s, seems incredible, but this one worked too. 
And this was actually an early exit. It kept going. And this is one of the runs you could have been in until the very last day, which sounds crazy, but you could have. I think the high of the day on the second, I want to say it was 850. I don't even, I mean, I don't even know where it was, but it was crazy. I mean, but it just doesn't make sense to hold something the last day. But this was so far through the strike of 770s on the very last day on July 2nd, before the holiday weekend, you could have made, I don't even know. I didn't even look at what it was worth, to be honest with you, because uh, I thought it was a good exit that I had on it. But anyways, if you were a beginner, you could have done this one because it costs 1800 for one. Got to stay close to your perimeters. Again, some of these were 1200 1300 800 That's okay. 1800 is almost double the risk. That's a no-no. So no trade for the beginner for this. However, if you did all of the trades, you made over 17 grand, risking 1000 That one day, that one particular day where I called five, you would have had to have the money to take them all at once, but the risk was the same, so you could have done that, all right? I think the benefit of doing options is that you could trade with a small account. You don't need uh, to have a, a margin account set up like 25,000 or more because you're not worried about margin. If you wanna be in, out, in, out, and nimble, you have to have the account set up with certain requirements with a minimum. But if you just wanna do options steady as she goes, you can open up a small options account with as little as $2,000. Now you can't risk $1,000 a trade if you do that. Uh, so you have to be able to grow your account. If you have a starter account, I would focus on growing it from two to five and five to 10 and 10 to 20, and that's what I would do. And while along the way you're booking profits and you're getting better at doing them. And again, you know, I'm here if you have questions. So we're into the July 4th period. It's the summer. It's a great time to be alive. Again, things are starting to normalize here in the United States of America. One of the most important things I think people have realized out of COVID is not just their personal freedoms, but financial freedom. Not being under the strong armor of the government. Being able to do what you want. And I tell you, working for yourself is amazing. The market is always open. Never closed even during COVID. You can rely on the market to be there, the hours that it's open. And if you know what to do and you have the right skill set and the money to trade, and you have a good system, which I do, you can profit trading. So my system is called the Golden Gap Rating System. It's how I make the picks. I go through and I rate the gaps I'm doing on the newsletter. You take the trades if you want to be on the letter. I'm rating them in the morning. So if you want to sign up, the annual subscription price is $69.99 a year. No prerequisites. Newsletters are emailed to you. No trials, like I said. If you want to sign up, the sooner you sign up, the sooner you can get on the letter. Email me at melissathestockswish.com if you want to register. It's definitely uh, been very successful, uh, not just Navinia, but many of the trades we've been doing in the last few months, and I'm very happy about the way things are going. And I've been very picky lately, actually, and, and, and it's working. Um, I don't think I've been over trading whatsoever at all. I think at, at one point last year with COVID I was, but we had so much volatility. Uh, but there were some wild swings in 2020. Now things seem to be more streamlined, and I'm really honing in in the picks. And then again, when I find something good, like we saw with Navini the last month, I'm playing it, playing it, playing it, playing it. We did that last year actually with Boeing, and and we and a couple other things last year during the COVID. But we'll see when we get this earnings season. I'm very excited about it. it starts in one week. So if you want to sign up, sign up before we begin. That's the busy time. Email me, melissa.thestockswish.com, if you want to sign up. And have a great day.